Tell us about uh, Charles V. Uh, if uh, my dates are correct, he's 21 at the time, 21 years old. Yeah. He's there's an interesting history here with Spain uh, <laughs> regarding him and and his roots. Um, is he? How much is he his own man? How much is he bound by the interests of others? How much is he even bound as a constitutional monarch to the to the constitution that has certain protections and guidelines for how he might even treat a German? Yes, well, twenty one. Can you imagine? I know being <laughs> emperor of of a and and then having to deal with such an issue. Um, well, Charles he was he was born in fact in what was then still the Netherlands in in, in Belgium. And that's where he grew up part of his life. And um, then he became the, uh, the the emperor of this massive, massive territory uh, with all its challenges. Uh, but he had a conviction and he was he was a smart guy. Uh, so he knew what he wanted. Of course, he had his his counselors that uh, that guided him in a certain way. But he was independent enough to take decisions. And he although he was 21, he knew very well what was happening in Worms. And what that man that was standing right in front of him, uh, what impact this man had and what he was thinking and doing, and what the consequences would be if he would just accept what Luther was doing. Uh, Charles had a political agenda, uh, also instructed by his uh, his, his relatives, of course. Uh, but like I said, he was mature enough to deal with this. The, 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 the problem is uh, for him that he could not speak German uh, and Luther did not speak Spanish, and and the Latin of Charles was not good enough to understand to to to, to enter a conversation with Luther. Um, so we have here two rather young people. Luther was not that old either. Uh, so uh, fifteen twenty one. Uh, so he was you know end, end of the thirties. Um, with um, yeah, with a perspective, with a view, with a conviction. And th these two convictions, they clashed. Mm -hmm. 